hi all welcome to cloud database channel so today we are going to see how to create that uh, multi container database in oracle 19c okay so first of all i have already took this session so you guys might uh, already aware that how to take the sessions so this is one of the my linux session so i already installed oracle binaries and i already configured everything uh, i have not yet created any database on this server so this is the first command to check that whether database are running on the server or not so s1 is one of the background process of oracle so that based on that we are checking okay so let me check how we can see that uh, how what uh, what is the current version installed in this server so that i already configured the bash profile that's the reason i am able to get the uh, output for the sql plus hyphen v so currently i installed oracle 19c the version is 19.3 it's bit uh, little bit old but it's okay we are using 19c this a bit mm, new version okay so uh, to create the database there are the uh, two three options are there so one is the dbca uh, one is a graphical user interface another one is the uh, silent mode another one is the response file there are the multiple options are there today we are going to see the option of using the dbca graphical user interface so i already installed in my uh, laptop uh, xming software and i already did the pre checks so everything so now i am just doing the echo dollar oracle underscore home uh, to just know the uh, my oracle home location so this is my oracle home location and uh, my ora tab location or any databases are there or not a earlier configuration see my ora tab entry is very clean there is nothing is my ora tab entry so i will keep in my data files in i have a some mount points like u01 u02 so i already installed in the oracle database software in u01 so that's the reason it is already used uh, 7.1 gig gigs so that uh, that's the reason i will keep the my data files in u0 mount point so that uh, first of all i will change the permission i have a root login this is my own uh, server so i am changing the permission uh, or I, I can do the directly creation of the anything so i am just changing the permission uh, uh, to oracle uh, on the u0 mount total mount point because i will use the total own mount so then i will i am changing the permission to 77 pi uh, for u0 mount point so it's done now so you can check this ls and ld this is the basic os commands uh, so this permission has changed to oracle o install and this is the thing 77 pi this is the directory this is the basic linux commands okay I am coming to Oracle user. I am just creating the uh, uh, like a folder structure app Oracle. Uh, that's it. Uh, the permission already it's set right, so that that's the reason I am able to create. So if you want to give, I can give ch mod iphone r seven seven five because of the I am the okay. It's done. So now which day which one we will use? We will use DBCA to create the database. Correct. So if I run which DBCA, it will show directly. By default, it will go to the Oracle Home bin location. It will call the DBCA. So that is a thing. Yeah. If you did not set the bash profile and everything, it will not show the things. So I just did the DBCA. Uh, now GUI will come. It might take some time. Uh, okay, it is loading the config driver information okay so these are the options I, I am getting so create database uh, and uh, manage existing databases and uh, so many options we are getting so by default option it is create click on create database it's already checked so I'm clicking on next and uh, there are the here multiple options are there so don't confuse by default you click the advanced configuration if you want to create the proper uh, understand highly de configured database the, the most advanced options will be available in the advanced configuration click on configuration so again click on next so there are the multiple warehouses we have data warehousing means it's kind of a uh, OLT one it's OL app uh, environment and uh, general processing and transaction but most of the databases you can choose the OLTP 
and I'm selecting only single instance I'm installed as a single instance database so I'm clicking next and uh, see here we are getting the options global database name let's say I'm just selecting the name as uh, like a 19c or uh, I, I can give you some other name uh, like uh, uh, like what can we can give you uh, the, okay I'm staying in Hyderabad location so I'm giving as a shortcut as HYD my city short name so and uh, this is a uh, create as a container if you don't want to create container database you just choose the this uh, option and check so I'm j by default it is a check is available and uh, use local uh, undo table space PDBs so these are the uh, some of the topics we will cover in future what is that these are the differences so these differences will uh, uh, in the 12 one there is a shared undo for all the pluggable database from 12 to 1 uh, 12 to onwards there is a local undo for each and pluggable databases so we can talk, discuss about these things much clear in future uh, videos so uh, by default it is creating one PDB if you want you can do that or you can create a just empty container so okay, that is also options are available so I'm just creating one one PDB with the name of the PDB PDB one okay just click on next and uh, these are the te templates whatever it is taking so I'm just taking the uh, u02 mount uh, whatever I created right so that I'm just going to their uh, slash uh, u02 app oracle and I'm selecting this and uh, you can use OMF also if you want but uh, I'm choosing this click on next and uh, if you want to enable just enable the fast recovery area this is the basic things and if you want to enable just enable the archive so it enabled almost 12 GB fast recovery area uh, in my in my server I don't have that much space so that's the reason I'm just changing to 4 GB okay by default it is taking from the oracle base my oracle base in the u01 app oracle location so i'm clicking on next okay the it is giving the error the specified is at least 5 gb it is asking so i just change the okay but i can forcefully set the f yes also uh, okay i'm saying the yes okay if you want to option you might see from the tools here to create the listener option so this is the new one if you want to configure listen you can click on this it will create but uh, right now I'm not going to create click on next so these are the advanced options so uh, in the uh, now right now that is a cloud era so uh, in the cloud every security is mandatory so uh, database vault and label security belong to the security thing so right now we are not going to discuss this so I'm just unchecking and moving forward to next and uh, these are the automatic showed memory and automatic memory management these are the already cover uh, normal topics like in normal databases things I'm just clicking on next on these things I'm not ch changing anything default option only I'm choosing and uh, next step uh, it is moving so it is taking the some configuration steps so it might take few seconds okay it's done so I'm unchecking the, this enterprise manager express so I'm unchecking this and I'm clicking again next and uh, I'm using the, this is the password sys, uh, system and PDB admin so why it is came PDB admin means so pluggable database also having PDB one admin so that is called PDB admin short but system and sys will work so in our uh, company we are most of the times using sys and system only you can make use of that also and so give this strong password because its security is a major right so give the very strong password it otherwise it will not accept okay I set one password but let's see it will accept or it will say okay it is accepted oh, I'm clicking on again next so uh, the only one option the I'm clicking on create database so if you want to check uh, you can check the all the initial parameter so still it is giving the uh, warning message this is not error this is a warning sign I'm clicking again yes so it is giving the option let's say that my global database name is this is the SID so I'm cre creating uh, container database and pluggable database one uh, and how many pluggable databases and the local undo is S or not and where where I'm keeping in a file system if you are using ASM it will show ASM uh, everything these are the normal options I'm clicking clicking finish 
so it might take some time uh, because it need to go further process it will reach to up to 100 percent so and uh, meanwhile i will pause the video for some time So database creation was completed. So in the end of the creation, it was showing showing like a, it was created one SP file in the DBS location, and uh, our uh, database name and uh, everything is same. S H Y D H Y D. So I'm just clicking on close, and this is one of the server parameter file. It was located in the DBS location. Okay, I'm just cl clicking on close. So I'm just uh, coming back to here. So uh, I want to tell you one thing. Uh, there was a mistake happened. Uh, means mistake means last time when I did the which DBA. This is not DBA. DBCA. This is which DBCA. So it will show like a like this. So D in the bin all the uh, executables will be there. So I'm just uh, whatever mistake is happened. I'm just covering in this uh, part. Okay. Thank you uh, for understanding. So just uh, now I what I will do I will just run the oh, initially I did the command of PSF encrypt right so I will do same command there is nothing change in the command so now you are seeing one more extra process that is called this is ora underscore s1 is a uh, prefix and hyd will be the our instance id so that it will show like that so it was created around uh, 919 in the server time I means it is 24 by 20, uh, 24 format so that 921 two minutes back server uh, this day instance was started so we will check the ORA tab so I am expecting this uh, as I know uh, when we create the database using DBCA uh, uh, the entry will be in the added in the ORA tab file so the entry added in the ORA tab file so this is the instance name and uh, this is the Oracle home and this is the node so we will talk about this thing why why and these options are there because there is we can do some automation so those things we will learn later okay so if i do echo dollar now oracle underscore dollar oracle underscore sid uh, it is showing nothing because if i do now sql plus slash s is this dba it will not give anything it will give some error for me so i am just showing error i am sure i will get the error i i, uh, I am just showing for you so see it is showing that TNS net service incorrectly specified it is asking username so so now I am doing there are the two method to set uh, to connect the database one is the export oracle underscore SID equal to uh, our instance name we need to provide instance name so HYD if you do now echo dollar oracle underscore SID it is showing HYD so now you can just type SQL plus slash as sysdba now I am I, at this time I, my login was successful so uh, when compared to earlier it is saying that net service name is incorrectly specified so that the uh, the things you guys need to remember is we need to do the environment variable export this is the one of the method there is another method also there we I will show you later in that part so select name comma open underscore more from v dollar database this, this is my database so i'm just showing the this is my database so how can we check uh, this uh, database is whether pluggable database or not there is a view in that there there is a v, but simple you just do the show pdbs command simple if it is a pdb database by default it will show like pdb dollar seed and whatever we created another pdb right it will show pdb so the thing you guys need to remember pdb dollar seed only uh, seed always in read only mode we will uh, cover this topic much more in the later part in this part i will cover only how to create the database and this thing uh, i want to show one more thing uh, so just uh, if you want to uh, come to know whether this is a cdb or pdb just do the show underscore con name it will show cdb dollar root so root is like uh, in the root is a main vehicle in the main vehicle everything every pluggable database will be park means it will be plug it's kind of a charger it's a port you can think it is a so you can unplug and plug so many things we can play so we will see the uh, entire series of the part in the future so i'm just showing there is a option of the this is the uh, uh, pluggable database or not we can see easily so show that so that's the reason i'm 
checking for that uh, view uh, is it pluggable database or not it will show clearly one second I will show you that mm. so we need to select the column of select uh, like uh, select there is a co column CDB check the CDB if you want you can take the con ID also but uh, it's not needed from V$ database so this is a very easy method to check so if you get the yes means so this is a pluggable database sorry this is a container database so show PDBs so if you want to connect the I am just showing how to connect to the another pluggable database alter session set container equal to PDB name and once it is showing session altered after that you just need to do show underscore con name this is the easy method there is another way we can check select there is a view d dollar v dollar pdbs select name open underscore mode from v dollar pdbs so it will show like that P even we can do the pdb read only or closed everything we can do we will see this in in the next part of series thank you thank you